Does this ever happen to you? It seems to be happening to me with increasing frequency. Somebody pops into my messages, usually on Facebook, and wants me to do 3D printing for them. And the thing is, most of these conversations kind of follow the same script. So instead of repeating myself again, I think I'll make this video. And if you're the sort of person that gets requests to do 3D prints, well, this might be the video that you want to send to somebody in the future. And if you were sent this video, then this message is for you because I really want you to understand the reasons why I don't want to do your 3D printing for you. I know when you're watching well-edited videos online that 3D printing can seem like magic, but in the best case scenario, there's still a lot of effort that the person running the 3D printer has to do. I still have to prep the model for 3D printing on the computer, move that prepared model over to the 3D printer, the load filament, and then you kind of have to watch the 3D print because things do go bad. When it's finished, you have to pull it off the build plate and possibly do some cleanup. It's a lot more than just push a button and in a second you get everything that you've ever wanted. See, it's the Maltese Falcon from this old movie called Maltese Falcon, where this was the MacGuffin, the thing that everybody wants. Get it? I'm being hilarious. And this is as good a time as any to mention that 3D printing is still a lot slower than you think it is. I mean, even nowadays with new 3D printers that are going blazingly fast and blowing out all speed records, 3D prints still take time to complete. Take for instance, this cute little chibi frog. This 3D print took about two hours to print. Now that was on an old fashioned slow 3D printer. A new faster 3D printer could crack this out in an hour, maybe 45 minutes. 3D printing is still not a super fast process and especially if you want it to look good and especially if you want it to be strong and stable. 3D print is going to take a lot of time and again, Yes, that's time that the 3D printer is just running, but you got to keep an eye on it because if something goes wrong and the 3D print detaches from the build plate, wraps itself around the nozzle, you could damage your 3D printer. And you think, well, an hour's not too bad. Yeah, but as things get bigger, this 3D print took a day to finish. Oh, well, that's good. I I'm glad that you recognized it. 3D printing will have some cost associated with it and that you're willing to pay, that's good. But let's talk about that price because I'm betting that it's a lot higher than you think it's going to be. Uh, let's use that cute little froggy example from earlier. This piece is small, tiny, and like I said, it probably would take an hour to two hours to print, but as far as material goes, it's really not a whole lot. Most 3D printing filament, if you're using the FDM process, comes in a kilogram spool. You buy it a kilogram at a time, and this stuff, the cheap stuff, costs about $30 for a kilogram, meaning one gram of it is going to cost you about three cents. So all told, this has in it, oh, I'm just estimating here because I haven't run the numbers, but I'm guessing it has less than a dollar worth of the material in it. That's not bad, a dollar, okay. But I did mention that my time was involved in here, prepping the 3D print file, running the 3D printer. How much of my time are you paying for? Let's say that, again, best case scenario here, we get this done in an hour, an hour of my time. And let's say that I'm willing to, you know, take minimum wage for my hour, that's $15 on top of the dollar worth of the filament. All of a sudden, this tiny little thing is a $15 print. Yeah, not seeming so reasonable, is it? And the bigger a thing gets, the more that it costs, not just because it's, it's taller, but because it's also wider and longer. An object that is twice as big has eight times the volume. That's eight times the amount of material cost in it. That's eight times the time for it to 3D print. 
And that increased amount of time is also going to increase the opportunities for it to fail. The times that I'm going to have to intervene and fix it. And if you're pricing things out, generally speaking, what you do is you take the cost of doing a thing and then multiply that by two or three times to overcome the potential failures that might happen. All of a sudden, that cheap 3D print isn't looking as cheap. And honestly, the biggest cost, this guy right here. By the way, what is it that you wanted 3D printed in the first place? Why is it that so many of these requests are, well, first of all, for car parts, and secondly, from people who think that all I need is a picture to turn their idea into a 3D print? I mean, okay, granted, there are available online hundreds, thousands, millions of 3D print files. Some of them are free, some of them are for a fee, but if you're looking for something extremely specific, there's a good chance that what you want hasn't already been 3D modeled. Yes, I know, there is that guy who 3D printed a whole Ferrari, but believe me, he didn't just download the model for a Ferrari. He's also doing a lot of work himself making those 3D print models. Now, I would say before you ask anybody to do 3D printing for you, check online to see if those 3D print files already exist and if you can already find them great if you do find what you're looking for you can take that 3d print file and give it to a service like zometry one of my favorites hashtag not sponsored for this one and they will turn it into a professional grade 3d print which you know if you're looking to do something like a car part might be exactly what you want if the thing you want 3D printed hasn't already been 3D modeled by somebody else online, then you're going to need somebody to turn what you want into a 3D model so that it can be 3D printed. And 3D design is a skilled labor. That means that it costs a premium price. And 3D modeling something to exact dimensions so that it fits onto something in the real world, that is even more difficult, especially if I don't have either the part or the thing that it's going to be fitting on. Uh, tell me how you see this going. You send me a picture. Maybe you go as far as to put a banana for scale in there, or maybe even go so sophisticated as to put calipers and other measuring tools next to it. You send me a couple of pictures. I model it based on those pictures because I don't have the actual thing with me. I 3D print it, all of which you've paid for, ship it to you, which you'll also pay for, and then you put it on your part, your, your car or whatever you wanted it to match to, and it doesn't fit. You tell me how it didn't fit, I adjust it, which you pay for. I 3D print it again, which you'll pay for. And the whole process repeats and repeats until it ends up being the right part for the job. All of this to try to save a couple of dollars. I mean, does it seem like it's worth it to you now? I mean, yeah, I, I could have just said no. You know, at this point, people tend to start getting a little bit frustrated because they, they recognize the way that the conversation is going. But the thing is, if I just said no from the outset, then they'd go on to find somebody else to ask them and they'd tell them no, and they'd find somebody else to, to ask and they'd tell them no. And eventually they'd conclude that everybody who has a 3D printer is just a big jerk and nothing could be further from the truth. The 3D printing community is the cream of the crop, the best people I have ever met. They are absolutely wonderful. I don't know what it is about making that makes people also more kind and more generous, but honestly, I love people in the 3D printing community. However, from somebody who is outside of that community, who just gets the idea from watching YouTube that this could be done, it's best to set some expectations and help people understand why it's not as easy as YouTube sometimes makes it look. Now, I will say that I do 3D printing for other people all the time. 3D printing is my love language. For friends and family, I do 3D prints for them, whatever they want, and I don't count the cost and I don't worry about any of that. But 
With friends and family, the relationship is a little bit different. It's a little bit more casual, and I can be a little bit more um, upfront about what they can expect, and we have that interaction. So, yeah, I do 3D printing for other people, but for somebody who I don't know what they don't know, I might just say this. <laughs> well, I suppose that's an option. If you become my friend, yeah, I might be willing to do 3D printing for you. But, uh, you know, if you're just becoming my friend so that you can play with my toys, come on. If you want to become my friend, let's have something in common that we can talk about. What about, um, what about if you got a 3D printer? You know, if you got your own 3D printer, they are more affordable and easier to use than ever, then we'd have lots to talk about. We'd get together and hang out and talk about the frustrations, helping getting you going. You'd get going, you'd have some successes. We'd have a great time and then, and then you wouldn't need me to do 3D printing for you because you'd be able to do it yourself and we'd be friends. And you know what, honestly, that's not too bad an outcome. I could live with that. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this has helped somebody. And as always, I want to remind you that you are a child of God. So you're special to me. So take care of yourself. And if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.